everybody, thanks for uh, tuning in to, the, to today's vlog. I'm just going to give a disclaimer, like a parental advisory. Not that there's going to be any bad content to this. I'm just advising my parentals that this story that you're going to hear may be a little hard to hear. We're going to be talking about our trip to Greece, why we went, why we came back. And it wasn't because of COVID. Last year, uh, I went to Greece three times. The last time I went was with the family. We were gonna go for three months and we were applying for a visa to stay for actually for one whole year. And we were going to help refugees. They're, the island that we were working on currently has 20,000 refugees from the Middle East and parts of Northern Africa stuck on this island, trying to make its way back into, or make its way into Europe, who's closed their borders and it just keeps piling up and piling up. Because of that piling up that's been happening over the last five years, the Greek locals are getting very frustrated. The island is pretty much tapped on resources and space. So the Greek government sent in a team of 200 riot police. And here comes the riot police. And some excavators in the middle of the night and they were going to start clearing out a space to build another refugee camp. This made the Greeks super upset and they started rioting and protesting and fighting against the police and the workers who were building or starting to build the second camp. So when we got there back in February for the beginning of our trip, things were super tense but it was like Greek versus Greek violence and we were able to kind of stay underneath the radar and continue to help uh, the refugees and do the tea time program where we're, we, uh, we're serving tea and playing games and just kind of loving, sharing the love of Jesus with these refugees and giving them an opportunity to get out of the camp and just have some human interaction because the camp with 20,000 people living in a space for 3,000 people is um, the most inhumane place on earth probably there is violence stabbings murders there is violence against women there is sewage in the streets just a horrible place so when we're there we're trying to show the love of jesus in a practical way of just giving them some human decency by sharing a meal with them and playing games with them over time the violence shifted from greek versus greek to greek versus foreigners because Turkey opened their borders. This is a very complicated political game that I'm trying to explain in a short amount of time that people way smarter than me understand. But Turkey opened their borders and the Greeks started to get upset because there was now gonna be another flood of refugees coming from the Middle East from Turkey. Before, thousands were showing up weekly, daily almost, but they would leave and go right to Europe. But now with Europe closing their borders, the Greeks on this island were very nervous that the refugees were gonna start piling up and basically overtake the island. So the Greeks started fighting back against the refugees and the workers who were there to help the refugees. So while we were there, there was uh, violence um, towards property and individuals trying to force um, the volunteers, the international volunteers, to leave, hoping that if we left, the refugees would leave as well. The, uh, all this came to a head on one Sunday, the last Sunday we were there. We were there for about five weeks. Things were really uh, tumultuous with rioting and protests. There was a, a island-wide strike where all the stores and gas stations and buses shut down. Uh, we weren't able to get food and water uh, for a couple days. So we were, um, you know, just partnering with neighbors and sharing with one another. And, um, but then it was on a Sunday. We were looking on Facebook Live and someone was posting a live video that a refugee boat had landed in the town just south of us. A boat landed uh, with about 25 refugees on it and about 50 to 100 Greeks were pushing the boat back out into the ocean. And it was just heartbreaking to watch it live unfold there in the next town over. 
these women and children just scared to death. These Greeks that were angry with their government that they're running out of places uh, to just to live their life um, because their island is being overtaken by refugees. It was just horrible to watch it live unfold. So Melissa and the boys and I, we walked down to the beach. It was about a 200-yard walk to the beach from our house. And we were down there just throwing rocks in the ocean, and the boys were playing. There was about five um, Afghani men there kicking around a soccer ball, talking with them, just trying to enjoy some peace on a Sunday. When all of a sudden, over a dune, uh, a lady who Melissa saw, I didn't see, but I heard her voice, and it was in perfect American English, say, run, go, get inside. And you know, if you follow along with my art or with this vlog, you know that I'm a follower of Jesus, that I'm a religious person, um, people would say. But never have I thought I've seen an angel or a spirit or anything like that. But I honestly believe, Melissa and I both believe on that day, that was an angel sent to protect us. For no reason for would there be an American on that beach. We were the only Americans around, the only English speakers around. We don't know where this lady came from, why she would have been coming over this dune. But we heard run, go get inside in an English American accent. So we did just that. We told our boys, come on, let's run. We started kind of walking at a fast pace down the beach. Melissa turns around and says, we need to start running. I turn around and I see a group of about 30 guys, um, Afghani guys with uh, sticks and clubs pieces of wood and uh, coming after us. So we start just kind of walking fast and, and jogging, looking back every once in a while, just telling the boys to keep looking forward to keep running. And after about 150 yards, we're almost to the house. I reach for my pocket. I feel I have my keys. I don't want to go to my house because I don't want these people to know where I live so that they can come and, and attack our house um, as groups of people have been doing. So we stop after about 150 yards, starting to get a little tired. I look around. They're no longer walking. They're now running and full on chasing us. So we run as fast as we can to get to our car. Another car turns down the street and sees that group, and they start kind of doing a U-turn. They surround that car, and it kind of slows them down so that we can break off and get into our car. Right as we get to our car, a group of Greek guys on... Uh, motorcycles with chains and sticks they come to go and fight and now we're in the middle of this brawl between the refugees and the Greeks um, we get in the car we drive we get up on the sidewalk we're driving down the sidewalk to get away because the street is just covered with people jumping fences and all over the place and we we quick get to a friend's house during this whole time we're in Greece we're registered with the United States Embassy and we're getting updates telling us kind of the the temperature of how bad things are on the island and after this uh, event and the other things that happened on the island that led up to this uh, we were advised by the United States Embassy that it was no longer safe for us to be on the island so we left time on our visa was starting to run out anyway by the time we got a new apartment and a new rental car um, there just wasn't enough time to stay and continue to work so we came home uh, we took about two weeks just separating from people. It was a very traumatic time for our family, and we wanted to just rest and relax. And after that, COVID came. We had a quarantine anyway, and we just never really talked about this story. And after painting this painting this week, I was ready to, to share this story and just kind of open up with, with what happened uh, to, to our family. We totally sympathize with the Greeks. We understand their frustration. Our heart breaks for the refugees all over the world who are leaving these war-torn areas trying to seek places to find refuge, to find safety, and they're just not finding it um, in places like this island in Greece. So painting this painting was very therapeutic to just kind of go through these thoughts a few months later. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for your continued support those of you who buy our art, our Patreons, allow us to live this life, to share the love of Jesus, to show love to people who need love. And uh, we hope to go back someday soon 
But until then, we just continue to show love every day and try to help people and use our art to do that. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next week.